Hello there. Welcome to our cooking class tonight, and I'm Kimberly Kinnear, your consultant. Um, we're gonna do this a little different than I normally do in my classes. We're gonna start right off by getting our meal in the oven. So, what, there are nights, you know, I don't feel like cooking. So, I call my sheet pan meals my go-to dinners, because there's not a lot, you know, two, three ingredients. I think, why do I have four ingredients tonight? Um, and so, we're gonna get it in the oven and then I'm gonna tell you all about Epicure and make the rest. So what we are making, which is one of our new favorites from this catalog, we kind of fight over the leftovers. It is Philly style cheesesteak. Yum, yum. And now this is what I'll tell you. My husband is a cheesesteak snob, cheese steak snob. He loves it. I will never order it when I'm out and about, but this is amazing. So what I've got in here is I have just a little under a pound of meat because that's what it calls for. And let me grab my scissors here. Um, a pound of beef. There is a vegan option. Nope, there's not a vegan option on here, but usually there is. But. Okay, and then what you're gonna call, what it call, and I'm gonna read right off of here, okay? And when you look at our sachets, you will see um, ingredients in bold, and those are what, so when you go, when you pull this out and say, okay, this is what I want for dinner, you look at the bold, beef strips, mushrooms, bell peppers, small yellow onion, and seasoning. That's what I needed. I had it in the house, so that's what we're having for dinner. Okay, less than a pound, and these are our four cup prep bowls, and I've got two bell peppers in here, a yellow and a red. So I got that one. They come, they are tempered glass, so they're microwave safe, freezer safe as well. Um, I store a lot of leftovers in it. Oh, this smells good. And it comes with this silicone lid. And again, those are all our silicone is food grade. That's the yellow onion. And I put a little extra because I love, love, love onion. And then there's some mushrooms here. Okay. Let's set that to the side. I'm gonna grab our grip and grab and kind of give it a toss so they're evenly dispersed. Okay, so that, just that, just, so that way all the seasoning doesn't end up on one ingredient. Okay, and it calls for, it says now put the seasoning pack, the sachet. Now you know, um, let me look at this. How many of you love Philly cheesesteaks, sandwiches, yum, yum. This one, the sodium is so low, there's 40 milligrams of sodium. Check out what they have. You know, when you go to buy a seasoning pack if you're making it yourself. And now I think I need a tablespoon of oil and I will use our magic four-in-one measuring spoon. This is the only one you need. You've got a tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon and quarter teaspoon. So it calls for a tablespoon. Now I put a little extra vegetables in it, so I think that I will add a um, little bit extra oil to it. So that's, I'll do two tablespoons just because I did extra mushrooms and I did extra um, onion. Okay, so let's stir this up, toss it around, and then I'm gonna put it on the sheet pan, and I cannot wait to show you our sheet pan. Who loves cook, cleaning, doing the dishes? I don't, and I don't like, you know, when the sheet pan, you have to soak it because it's all grubbied up. Not anymore, not with our silicone. Okay, look at that. And these grip and grabs, they're um, stainless steel reinforced, and they're on a nice spring. And you can use these right on the stove. So they're, um, gosh, God, I don't remember, but it's like about 400 degrees they're safe at. Okay, look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Does that not look so delicious? There it is. Okay, let me grab. This is our full-size sheet pan with the silicone liner. See, da-da-da-da. So now I'm gonna pour this on here. And I will stir it a little more just so I get all of that seasoning well blended on there. Let me set this aside over here. I'm back. Okay, see there, so it's got a lot of the seasoning there. I think this pan, it calls to cook it for 15 minutes. I think it's gonna take a little longer than that just when you look at um, 
I've got it heaping here. I don't know what a small onion is or a small, I, didn't, I mean, I like to, you know, the seasoning packs, that's what I should say. I, I'm always adding a little extra. The seasoning packs go a long way because you know, we don't have any fillers in it. I've talked about that never ever list already. I'm gonna talk about it again here. So look at that, I've spread it. I'm gonna, this is dirty, raw meat, so it's going in the sink. But there's our sheet pan. Doesn't that look yummy? 375 for 15 minutes. Let's see. And I will set the timer for 15 minutes and start. Okay. Um, where was I? Silicone. These are food grade silicone. So they're not going to be leaching anything into your food or into your body. And this is the round cake pan. But let me show you these sheet pans. I've got another one here. Okay, this is our quarter sheet pan. Um, you, they're sold individually, so you can buy this to fit your sheet pans you have at home already, or you can buy our, our aluminum one there. I think it's aluminum. Okay, it's silicone, silicone, silicone food grade. That means it's made out of sand, so very healthy. But these things just pop out, you rinse them off, and then you throw, pop them in the dishwasher. I fold them over like this when I, they go in the dishwasher because they clean up really well. And um, it just has this nice smooth surface that it just, the grime, I shouldn't call it grime, you know, the food waste, the crispies, they just rinse right off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I put the oil in, I wanna make sure that I did everything because I do usually have to read the ingredients, to, uh, recipes twice. Now, this is part of our sheet pan collection. We have five in there, but I only have three here today. So Philly Styles cheesesteak. This is another go-to. We love this one. It's the sweet garlic chicken, and we use it with sweet potatoes. And last week I um, included some Brussels sprouts in it. That's very really yummy. Then we have a southern bake and we have a tropical pineapple chicken, but we also have the crispy, crunchy coating. And remember, everything's gluten-free. So if you have allergies, you've got that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. Oh, I forgot the horse radish. Let me grab that out. There's the horse radish. What I'm gonna make now is a garlic aioli. And um, I've already, these are our one cup, cup prep bowls. They come in a set of four and they come with the silicone lid. I've already measured this out. It's gonna be kind of messy because I filled it to the brim. It's one cup. The, the, the recipe calls for one cup of mayo and um, a tablespoon of the blend. I am going to use a different one because that other one had oil. And yes, I do have extras, even though I said you only need one, which you only do. So I'm gonna put this in here. Ha <laughs> ha made the mess. There's always a mess in my kitchen. Okay, and now I'm just going to stir it up with the mayo, which again, it's going to be a very messy deal, but if I have to add more garlic later because I spilled it on the counter, that's what I'll do. But our mini whisk is great for these because then I can just, you know, get in there, stir it up, stir it up. And I like using our, um, prep pro bowls because they have that lid and the lid doesn't get warped in the dishwasher. It doesn't um, break. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it and I've had them. My first one I got, you know, two years ago, two and a half years ago when um, Epicure came to America. Okay, so there is a big mess. <laughs> Let me clean that up. Okay. So now to make the aioli, we don't, that's your mayo, garlic aioli, a cup of mayo. Next time I'll use a bigger box, I mean bowl. But now I'm just gonna put a dollop of horseradish in here. And that's what my husband says. He doesn't measure, so he just said put a dollop. I, if it's too much, then I will, um, I will, uh, put add more mayo or more garlic. But let me stir this up in here. And then we're gonna use this as a spread. We use the garlic aioli as a dip for tater tots. Uh, we use it with, eat it with fish, just about everything. So that's nice and stirred up. I'll transfer it to probably to a larger bowl later. And 
and just clean this mess up. Yes, it is messy. Okay, and that just needs to set in the um, refrigerator for about 15 minutes and then it's good to go. Hey, I got a cat getting into something he shouldn't. Steve, can you check on, oh no, he's down. He was getting onto our TV. This guy is a pain. Okay, now I'm gonna make dessert. Maybe I'll start with a different, maybe I'll start with a different cutting board, but maybe not. Ooh, Pro Prep knife. Love it, love it, love it. It's ceramic, stays sharp forever. I've had mine, oh gosh, a couple of years. I'm sure I bought it the first year. Okay, I'm gonna show you a mushroom, how easily these slice up. Look at this. Look. Just like that, boom, boom, boom. Super easy, it's very durable. You don't wanna use it on a real hard vegetable because it will chip or break. Move that aside. Well, garlic, garlic everywhere. Good thing I love it, but we're not gonna get it in our brownies. Okay, here's our bowl. So I'm gonna crack two eggs into it. I've got them over there. Let me get them. Grabbing some paper towel too. Okay, there we go. Just because it's fresh out of the chicken and there's a lot of yummy egg yolk, egg whites in there. There we go, two eggs. I'm gonna wash my hands so I'll be back. Now, talking about the never ever list, remember, we do not add the chemicals to it. We don't add, we're 100% gluten-free, nut-free facility, so you don't have to worry about cross-contamination. The only nuts we have are um, coconut. But again, think that all, I mean, how many of you read labels? Have you looked at, I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit. Okay, now this is our, Chocolate Bliss Brownie. These are so good, I just love them. Um, I add a little extra to it, but straight up, they're just great. Um, Gluten-free, so you whisk two eggs and a half a cup of oil. So we use avocado oil for our baking here in the house. And again, I don't know if I mentioned on our one cup prep bowls, we've got the measurements on the side and then to the top is one cup. So I'm gonna pour a half a cup of oil and because we're using this half a cup of oil, I don't oil the silicone pan. Let's see, I didn't get bring the eggs in today, Steve. My husband just came home. That's the nice thing about my job. I can just do, as I'm cooking my dinner for us, I'm working. So there it is, a half a cup of oil and two eggs, and now the brownie mix, and that's it. Three ingredients. And it cook, you can bake it in the oven, I mean microwave it, or you can bake it in the oven, which is what I usually do, because I really like the crispy edge. And I mean, you get it with the microwave, but I, I don't know, old fashioned maybe, but I do still cook a lot in the microwave, so don't get me wrong. And I'll just stir this up. Okay, so let's talk about Epicure, which we, I just, I don't know if I mentioned, I just got back from our global conference in Orlando. We're celebrating our 25th anniversary. Can you believe it? They've been in business for 25 years. So you know this is not a startup company. We're not going anywhere. We've been in the United States now just um, two and a half years about. We came and started in August of 2019 and then COVID hit, so we went all online and now we're back to doing both online as well as um, in-person cooking classes. So again, thank you for your orders because we love to spoil our hosts and we've got a fabulous host program. And if your wish list is too long after looking at the catalog, that's what you do. You wanna host because You'll get so many good deals. Okay, so I've mixed that up just like that. Now, let's see. We still have six minutes on that, so maybe I'll walk you through. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put it in the round one. We do have the petite, petite 
per let me show it to you. It's easier to show it to you than try and say it, but it's so good. Look at this baking sheet. It's made out of silicone, but you can make the personal bite size brownies, granola bars, anything like that. And again, like I said, it's food grade silicone, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not oiling the pan because we put oil in there. A lot of people do. Now, the one thing, um, I'm not sure if you, you have a lot of experience cooking with silicone, one thing I needed to learn is that with silicone, it's key to let it relax, um, cool. The longer you let, you know, you let it cool about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna use my fingers, sorry. Scrape it all off, because we want all that goodness. Um, cooling will just, it'll lift right out of the pan. And I'm gonna spread this around like so. And this will, I'll just put right in the oven when the cheese steaks are done. Okay. Washing hands again. You gotta love the job that you have. Because it was raw eggs and I wanna do that for you. Now, what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do it. You can just bake it like this. You can add nuts to it. You can add cinnamon, not cheese, peanut butter. I all, I love chocolate and peanut butter. Love it, love it, love it. And it's really hard to go to the store and buy chocolate and peanut butter together. Gluten-free and dairy-free. That's what my life is about. Let me double check the recipe again because I, that just seems so simple. Okay, it says lightly oil an 8x8 eight eight silicone square pan. I used the round one and I explained why I don't oil. Um, I whisk two eggs and a half a cup of oil, stir, then spread the batter in the pan. Can you believe it? That's easy. There is a vegan option here. You can replace the eggs with two tablespoons ground flax combined with a half a cup of water. And then you just let it rest for about five minutes before adding it to the mixture. And pre bake in a preheat oven of 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I let mine go a little longer because, I, like I said, I like that crusty edge there. And now I'm just going to take... A dollop of peanut butter here, and a dollop of peanut butter there, and a dollop of peanut butter there. I'm not touching the spoon, just kind of wiping the peanut butter off. Then, what I do, I'm gonna take this, and as my mother would say, the peanut butter is not poison. <laughs> okay, where's my silicone? Okay, I'm using the silicone knives because I really don't like, you don't want to use Anything with a sharp edge on your silicone, because you can cut right into it, you don't want to, so I avoid metal at all costs. But this is our silicone knife. Again, it's reinforced with stainless, so it's not flimsy with the stainless steel, but it is food grade. And then I'm just gonna take this and kinda, you know, swirl it around like so. I like to get it all over so every piece has a piece of peanut butter. So I'm just kinda, making it a little messy, just like that. And there it is. And then my uh, my topper, where is it? Oh, I take our sea salt and just sprinkle it on because for some reason, sea salt just has just that little bit more. Okay, now, two minutes. I can talk for two minutes and then we'll do another little trick. I'm gonna set this over there. You, I'll just take pictures of everything after the fact. I wish you could be here to taste this. Book a party, we'll do it at your house. And you can taste it. I'm just gonna set this back here for now. And where's my catalog? It's off view again. Okay, so if you look on page 11 of the catalog, um, and I've posted the link in the group here, that you can, uh, there's the sheet pan, Things. And they all come with recipes to back them up on the sachet, as well as on my website. I've got a great selection of recipes that you can use this for, for so much. Um, okay, so, never ever list. Please, please, please check that out. It might be reversed on this video, but check it out because it, we don't have any MSG in it. We don't have, there's just so much no bleach flour, so you're not getting bleach, you know, your flour is a full sodium, no sodium nitrate or glutamates. I don't know what any of this stuff is, or no fructose. 
just read your labels. See, are you eating food? We're gonna be, we're so packed with flavor in there. Okay, and you can get all of this, look through the catalog. We do have products going in the vault right now. Um, and uh, what am I saying? Yeah, so check that out. You know, if there's something you really love, you wanna get it ordered because we have a new catalog coming out May 3rd. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna get a board out, the rack, the rack and roll. Or is it a roll and rack? I can never remember. Because I'm gonna pull that out. See, it rolls right up. And I'm gonna set that down. Let me grab our pan oh, right out of the oven. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I wish you were here. It still needs to cook a little longer, but that looks so yummy. Let me turn the timer off and close this up. So what I'm gonna do now, it calls for, um, where did my sachet go? It's way over here, sorry. And it says to put a cup of shredded uh, mozzarella or provolone. Dairy-free, so I use the Violife. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on here because again, I'm not a measurer. Put this on here. And then our sandwiches, we'll just serve them on a hoagie bun or hoagie roll, or you can, you know, whatever your favorite. Oh, I think I need a little more. <laughs> Probably don't. Let me spread this around. There you go. And now I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about, it says, I think it says two minutes or until it's, two minutes or until the cheese melted. I think I'm gonna stick it for five minutes just cause the meat looks like it needs just a little bit more. But, oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. It is so good. Let me put it back in the oven. So I started it for five minutes. So that's our meal tonight. Um, check out anything you like here um, in the catalog. Ask questions, post you know comments below, and I will photograph uh, dinner after it comes out of the oven and the brownie as well. Oh, imagine just a few, like a little scoop of vanilla ice cream on there. That'd be yummy. Okay, have a great night. I'll be back in a few minutes uh, with some photos of dinner. Good night.